Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Stephanie's Stamp Pad, where we get together and make a card. Today's card is so colorful and beautiful and easy. Look at that, friends. Can you get more easier than that? More easier than that. I'm not sure if that even makes sense. But the best part is, is it looks fantastic. It doesn't look easy, but it is. Now, what do we need to make this card? Mostly, we just need this friend's die that I designed for Sizzix. Now, if you're on the Stamps of Life website, you can see it down below. If you're not on the Stamps of Life website, go to the stampsoflife.com and you can see this video and you can see this um, friend's die right here. Now, what do we need also? We need some powdered sugar glitter and we are going to use some little embellishments here or there and it's so easy, you're gonna just be excited. First thing we're gonna do is just we are going to fold a piece of guava cardstock in half to make an A2 size card. Done. Okay, then we're going to have some cardstock in our beautiful ocean color, and we are going to simply die cut the larger part of the die. Not both of them, there's two dies in the set. We're only going to do the larger one, a little bit at an angle so it doesn't go straight through the machine, and we're going to run that through. Easy. Easy, easy. Now, after that, we are going to add adhesive to the back. Oops, oh, oh, it fell, excuse me, ha! <laughs> that was funny, <laughs> it fell on the floor. <laughs> There's our piece. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to add Sizzix adhesive to the back of our lemonade cardstock. Peel that off. And we are going to add adhesive to the back of this because, can you imagine trying to add adhesive to all those little tiny pieces? Oh, no, no, no. We don't play that game, okay. So now, just to make sure I don't ac accidentally die cut in the wrong spot, we're gonna trim that off. Now I know this is an entire sticker. I'm gonna lay that down. Now, here is a tip. First of all, start with a clean die. My die is dirty, so we're gonna clean it. And we're just gonna run our brush through, get it nice and clean, because a dirty die leaves a dirty cut. You want a clean die to have a clean cut. So we're gonna clean that all up, and I missed a couple little spots, but we should be okay. Actually, let's clean it a little bit more. I am a very horrible cleaner, but when it's important, I'll do it. So we'll just poke those little guys out. If you missed any pieces, that looks much better. Now what we're gonna do is, because this is so intricate and it has so much blade, oh, I missed one, because it has so much blade in it, we are going to use the Sizzix Precision Base Plate. What is that? It is this, dun, 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 and it's metal. Now we're gonna take it, and I'm moving my uh, regular platform, my cutting pad on the bottom, off to the side. I'm gonna lay this down, and this has the adhesive on the back, and we're gonna lay this die down. Now, because this is metal, it is no longer magnetic because the magnets are on the bottom on my platform, so I do need to pay attention. If you want it to be perfect still, you can always do the old school way and get some mm, washi tape, right? Because that's how we used to do it, or I used to use a post-it note in the olden days before the invention of the magnetic platform. But because we want it to be perfect, we're gonna lay this down, and we're just gonna tape that, just to make sure it doesn't move. Now we're good to go. Now, this is a very intricate die. Please use the precision base plate. It will give you a better cut. Now, if you do not have a Big Shot, a Big Kick, a Vagabond, or a Big Shot Plus, you have a competitor's machine, I'm sorry. The precision base plate will not work for you, and I feel really bad. But this die is very intricate, and I'm even running it through twice, mainly because I was talking and because it can go through. So now we're going to peel this up. Check the back to make sure you have a nice clean cut all the way around, and it looks like, oh, it, it did cut. I didn't go all the way through at first. I was like, oh, did I run it all the way through first? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel this up, and we have it perfectly cut. No, that's just trash. Now I'm not gonna try to clean it right now because I'm going to do some decorating. I'm going to get my scratch paper, and I have, oh, I thought I grabbed my banana ink pad. I really thought I grabbed it, that's funny. Uh, here it is, banana, and banana is back here. So we have our banana ink pad. Even though it's lemonade, I'm gonna use banana to really make it stand out. Ink this, 
And then we're just gonna go around the edges. Do, 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 do. Get that flower really good. Get that nice and dark. And we're just gonna go around the edges as needed or where we want to. You can color that friends really nicely. Look at how much it really makes it pop. You can, oh, actually here, let me show you the difference. Um, we'll put this one there. That one's already die cut out. And we're gonna show you the before and after because it really, really, really does add. And let's die this stamp those darker get that on there nice so you get to play with this there's no wrong or right it's just fun but it really 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 adds to your project and let's do this one try to keep it on the words but don't worry about it too much make sure you I like to really make sure I get the edges Make sure they really stand out. Look at how fun that is. Okay, look at the difference and let's um, peel this one up. Now, to weed this out, to clean this die, because see how this is, be, you know, this is after, this is before with it weeded out. I'm gonna peel this off. Don't worry about it yet, the, peel, the extras, because most of the extras will come off with this piece of adhesive. See that? And then I just throw that right in the trash. Give it a little flick or two. All the other, most of the other pieces will come out and just see one right here that's there we go and oh looks like i go oh, one more found one every once in a while you'll have one that's just a little stinker there we go oh there's another stinker <laughs> okay poke that one okay now we're good it all cut we just need to make sure it got all in there now i want i'm going to add it onto my blue and i want you to see the difference of how beautiful this is Look at how I have light in here, I have dark on here, or my big flat yellow. Flat yellow or beautiful yellow, big difference, right? Okay, so now let's add some glitter and we gotta find some more scratch paper. And we are going to use, doo -doo -doo -doo, I did have a glue pen here somewhere, there it is. So let's grab a glue pen. And we're going to, on our sample, we did like three of the friends, but let's just add some glue. Make sure this is working. La la la, shouldn't be doing this on my secret weapon. Okay, so let's add some glue. Now you could use any glue that you like to use for liquid glue, I mean, uh, for glitter. I sometimes will use, actually we'll do this also on the other way, because I want to show you both. So we're gonna do this, and I'm just a tiny bit of glue all the way around on this friends. Dun, 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 dun. Look how cute this is. Okay, and then we're gonna add some sh powdered sugar, not to be eaten. This is so fun. And I like to just spread it on there because I wanna make sure it's on there. Okay, sprinkle off. Flick. <laughs> Flicking works better than blowing. Okay, so I have that, but another way you can add your, uh, glitter is by using liquid glue and this one I haven't used in a long time but it's gonna come out so we're gonna add some glue right there and this is this is gonna look lame but this is how I like to do it I use my fingertip and it, I feel let's do down here I feel it is much faster and I feel like I get more glue on there so I'm just gonna go around this and you can see I'm just kind of like like if you were applying makeup or something kind of just Go like along that. You could use a Q-tip too if you didn't want to use your finger. And then I'm gonna add my glitter. Dun, 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 dun. Look how fun that is. And then we're gonna tap that off. And see, that to me was much faster and I just cleaned it off, but see how fun that is? Now, normally you'd put that back in there, but it's too messy, so I'm just throwing it in there. And let's move on. And we're going to decorate with some, cover that because we don't want that to go out. Any white glue will work. You don't have to get this one. Just get any white glue. It's fine. And or clear glue is fine too. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to get our twine and we're going to wrap this around. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Around a whole bunch of times. Oh, am I not? Not, not that many times. Okay. And we're going to tie this and then I'm going to move it up closer to the front to the top. Okay, and we're going to add our little bow. Dun, 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 dun. 
I don't know where the music's coming from. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, and we're going to scooch this up to the top more. There we go. And you can spread this out as much or as little as you want. It's up to you. And then we're going to add our cute little heart, wood heart, and we're going to peel this off. Ugh. And luckily the sticky stays on it, so that makes it life a little easier. And we're going to add that. And then we're going to add our cute little flower embellishments to our little flowers on our card. Whoops. Did it? Oh, it's sticky. It's that sticky. Yeah, why didn't it stay? Okay. Ooh, press it down. There we go. Maybe I didn't press it down enough. Oh, that was funny. Okay, so we're going to add that one there. Sometimes if glitter gets on it, then it won't stick as well. Oh, that one, the glue dot stayed on it. Well, isn't that a bummer? Oh. Oh, glue dot's not going to be glue dot anymore now that I keep touching it. Okay. So let's add that one right there. Oh, that one's not going to stay. Oh, well, get that white glue out. Add some white glue to that one because we want it to stay. Look how cute that is. Okay. Luckily, it dries clear, so we're fine. And then we want to add it to our card base. Look how cute that is. And with that inking, it totally just adds another dimension to your card. So we're going to add it. Normally, I would add it to the back of that, but because that's so bumpy, oh, and I ran out. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that I do this right where I know that the card base, I mean the card front will go. And then we're going to lay this on top and we are good to go. I told you this card was easy, easy peasy, but so fantastic. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Oh, and I lost another one, didn't I? <laughs> well, thank you for so much for joining me for another episode of Stephanie Stampad where we get to together and make art. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.